Subaru style. When you're thinking of dinner options, it seems everything that is quick is unhealthy. And if you want to take a more nutritious route, the meal takes a long time to prepare. Nutritionist Andrea Holwigner joins us this morning to give us some tips on making suppers that are healthy for us, but also really quick. Because everybody's bet. under the gun. You bet. And we did three of these last night for prepping for TV. Mm -hmm. And 20-minute uh, meals are possible, but it's the key is planning ahead. Well, that's just it. <laughs> Let's talk about that. So when you're thinking about what you want to eat, it's not what you're thinking about for that night, but you've got to plan for the whole week. You know, ideally, and even if people planned even the night before, I would be thrilled because, you know, when I ask people what's for supper tonight, very few people actually know by mid-afternoon what they're going to have. And so any amount of planning is going to help. Um, if you can look at the week ahead, map out one day that you're going to do your grocery shopping in your calendar with as much importance as attending a family's birthday party. Um, that's going to make sure that A, you've got a great grocery list, which means you've had to think about maybe what that supper meal plan is going to look like. So say you've got your grocery list planned. Next is to map out a meal plan. Meal plan for the week and, you know, thinking about it with the available time that you have. Often I find our clients coming to see us are well intended. They want to do um, great meal planning, but then they look and perhaps they've got soccer and kids, whatever chaos going on, and it only leaves them a short window of time. So thinking about those nights when you're really crunched, it's got to be planned ahead. It's got to be those quick 20 minutes. Otherwise, it's probably something's going to get missed. And you've brought in some great <laughs> examples this morning of those meals that you can make quick and easy and all of them really good for you. You bet. Absolutely. And these are all fa family favorites of ours at our house. Um, so I guess if we want to start sort of With the um, on the side here. Sure. Um, quesadilla, so many great things you can put mm -hmm. in a quesadilla. One of our personal family favorites is black beans, great meatless Monday type of option for those of you trying to incorporate some vegetarian and really foods. they're really filling. They are, yeah. and great leftovers for your lunch yeah. the next day. <laughs> um, so we've just got some corn, some red pepper, um, whatever type of cheese you like. You could do feta or cheddar, uh, canned black beans drained, serve it with salsa, guacamole, you're set and ready to go. That is delicious. Uh, next option, I said maybe breakfast, and you're like, any meal this one would work Absolutely. for. Absolutely. <laughs> we love breakfast for supper at our house, um, and always a fast one. So I did a little twist on French toast. This is a French toast sandwich with, you Yum. can use um, either cream cheese or ricotta cheese with a little bit of jam, um, eaten cold or, or uh, hot, served with some Greek yogurt, and again, so much good nutrition in there. And finally, this one looks delicious, and I love couscous. It's so easy to make so fast. You bet. Um, so we had this for dinner at our house last night, and couscous is the fastest grain that you mm -hmm. can cook because all you have to do is boil water, put the couscous in, and let it sit for a couple of minutes, and then it hydrates, and, uh, you know, you can throw anything in there. You can cook it in a broth, throw in some seeds or spices. We put a little raisins in there. Um, great, great, easy grain that you can eat. Also left over cold even the next day for your lunch. Mm -hmm. um, of course, a salad here. And then the shrimp is actually ready in about five minutes. All yeah. you need to do, put a little olive oil in the pan, saute some garlic, throw in the shrimp, um, add a little bit of paprika and some cumin, and you're ready to go. Super simple and all really good for you. You bet. <laughs> awesome. Andrea, thank you so much for coming in this morning. Some great options. If you'd like more details, head to Andrea's website, healthstandnutrition.com.